Hello dear students, welcome to social science class. I hope all of you are doing good. So let's get started with today's topic that is India in the medieval period. Under this topic we will be learning about introduction to the medieval period, changing names of regions in India, sources of the medieval period that is archaeological sources and literary sources. And lastly, we will discuss about the emergence of new social groups and economic groups. Now let's get started with the chapter India in the medieval period. The history of India is divided into three different periods that is ancient period, medieval period and modern period. You have already learned about ancient period in class 6. So, now we will learn about the medieval period in class 7th. The period that lies between the ancient period and the beginning of the modern period is known as the medieval period. Medieval period is stretched from 8th century to 18th century which covers many centuries. One century is equal to 100 years. So, the medieval period in India covers about 1000 years. Medieval period is divided into two periods that is early medieval period and late medieval period. The early medieval period is stretched from 8th century to 18th century. The Palas, Pratiharas, Rashtrakutas, Cholas and Rajputs were the powerful ruling dynasties during this period. The late medieval period stretched from 13th century to 18th century. This period started with the establishment of the Delhi Sultanate and extended till the reign of the Mughal. So this is about the early medieval period and the late medieval period. As an activity, I want you all to gather information about the early medieval period and the late medieval period. Now coming back to changing names of regions in India. Do you all know the other names of India or how India is addressed as? So the other names of India are Bharat and Hindustan. So these were the names given. We have seen how these names were given in our online class. Now let's talk about the sources of the medieval period. We have learned the sources of history in 6th standard, isn't it? Yes, in the same way we have the sources of the medieval period. Medieval period also has the first good examples of written records of history which give us a better insight into this period. Now let us see the sources. First source we have is a literary source. They are the written records of the past. Several written records are available in this period which includes chronicles, manuscripts, autobiographies, etc. The second source is archaeological sources which includes monuments, coins, inscriptions and artifacts. So students, as an activity, I want you to note down what is the study of coin known as and what is the study of inscriptions known as. Now let's discuss about the emergence of new social groups, political groups, economic changes, region to empire and about the religious tradition. I will give you a summary of it. The changing period in our history is between 700 and 1750 CE. During this period, new changes like the Persian wheel and the spinning wheel had emerged. New food and beverages like potatoes, corn, tea, coffee, etc. were also introduced. One group of people who became important in this medieval period were the Rajput. Agriculture was extended by clearing forest which led to the migration of the forest dwellers. The early medieval period saw the emergence of many small kingdoms which were frequently in conflict with one another. Religion played a vital role in the medieval Indian society where we can witness 
major developmental in religious tradition and important changes which took place in Hinduism. So, concluding statement, today we have learned about India in the medieval period. Under this chapter, we have discussed about introduction to the medieval period, changing names of regions in India, then the sources of medieval period that is archaeological sources and literary sources and lastly we discussed about the emergence of new social groups, political groups, economic changes, region to empire and religious tradition. So I hope all of you will do the activities. So that's it for today. Have a great day. See you in the next class. Thank you.